Hello, hello, hello. My name is Tim Cleaver. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to showcase my level 70 easy explosives build here in Fallout 76. Uh, so I got a pretty good reception on one of my latest videos. Uh, my level 300 uh, bloodied sneak commando build that I figured I want to keep doing these. And they're fun to do. And they're fun to experiment with different builds and different weapons. And... Yeah, this is level 70 build, as you can see here. Uh, we're at West Tech. Just kind of demonstrating what this build can do. So we'll take out these super mutantes. And then I'll take some time to go over my, uh, my, my specials, my perks, my weapons, my armor. Uh, my mutations. And because this is a level 70 build, it's still kind of early game. I mean, like, it's it's definitely viable for a beginner to shoot for. I do recommend it for a beginner or a, a veteran uh, because you are pretty tanky. You're full health. And uh, you're a lot less likely to die than, than a bloodied build. Did we get any legendaries here? I don't think so. No legendaries. I feel like they, uh, or what I mean, when I say they, I mean Bethesda. I think it feels like they kind of diminish the, uh, the spawn rates for legendary, uh, enemies. I think that's all of the super mutants. Let's just loot everything and then I will get into the details. And that glitch still still persists, where the first time you hover over uh, an enemy, the the loot all, or like the area loot, doesn't appear. So you have to hover over it uh, a few times. There we go. Okay. So... For my, my special, I have 15 strength... 3 Perception, 3 Endurance, 2 Charisma, 15 Intelligence, 4 Agility, and 14 Luck. Uh, I do have Legendary Perks because I do have a, a level 300 plus character on my account. But, none of these are special uh, Legendary Perks. So these are bonuses, basically. Uh, you unlock the first slot at level 50, and then at level 75, level 100, level... 150, I believe, level 200, and then level 300. So you get six six legendary slots total, legendary perk slots. Uh, the first one I recommend unlocking at level 50 is Electric Absorption for this build because, uh, as it says, 10% chance energy damage will recharge your power armor's fusion core and restore health. So this basically means, makes you invincible uh, against robots because they, uh, they, with their attacks, they recharge... Your fusion cores, which this build is a, a power armor build, and it restores your health too. So that's some passive health regeneration, uh, which is very, very handy for this tanky type of uh, full health build. Oh, we're almost level 71 too. Okay. Uh, I'll show you the rest of my legendary perks too. Uh, but these are bonuses basically. So I have ammo factory, so I get more ammo when. Uh, crafting ammo, electric absorption, like I said, master infiltrator. Uh, I like opening locks and, and doors and treasure chests. So this is just a quality of life perk. Uh, survival shortcut, same thing. It, it kind of uh, takes away the worry of having to have like food on to uh, to keep up the the the, uh, the hunger and thirst. And yeah, this generates one survival aiding chem every 30 minutes, up to five. Uh, but we could upgrade that, which I will probably do last. Taking one for the team, enemies take uh, now 20% more damage, but I think the first rank is 10% more damage when they attack you if you're on a team. So that's just enemies take more damage, basically, when they, when they are hostile towards you, when they uh, are aggro towards you. And what rads? Plus 50 rad resist, and it restores one rad per second. So I would probably take this as the second 
uh, legendary perk card when you hit level 75, I believe it is. Uh, so yeah, this basically is uh, essential for a full health build because you don't have to worry about rad away. It just gradually uh, restores rads, which is which is amazing. And now for my regular perks. Uh, one rank of strong back, which I will probably swap out for uh, the faster reload perk. I forget what it's called right now. I think it's lock and load. Uh, just because I am using heavy guns and they do take a while to to reload, at least uh, longer than, say, your, uh, your automatic combat rifles like the Fixer or whatever. So this is probably going to be the next perk to go at level 71. Uh, but yeah, it's it's good for that utilitarian uh, carry weight that I like in my uh, in most every build. Then traveling pharmacy rank three of that uh, weight of all chems, including stim packs, reduced by ninety percent. So yeah, because again, this is a tanky character. I'll be carrying lots of stim packs and healing items, and this reduces their overall weight by ninety percent. So they're almost uh, the weight is almost non-existent. Bear arms, heavy guns weigh 90% less. Again, I'm carrying like five or six heavy guns right now. And they each weigh, let's say, 20 pounds each. So that's a lot of weight that it's going to be reduced, which is which is amazing, which leaves more weight for uh, for bubblegum. Uh, and I have one rank each of master, heavy gunner, heavy gunner, and expert heavy gunner. Uh, just, for, just for the little bit of that bonus when it comes to heavy guns... Uh, like the Gatling gun or the the mini gun, uh, which I don't use a lot of, uh, but I, I I want to get certain rolls on those weapons eventually, which which I will keep for those. And then rank two of Bandolier ballistic weapon ammo weighs ninety percent less. Again, I'll be using tons of ammo, and this just reduces the weight of it greatly. And max strength is always a handy thing. Uh, rank three of Ordnance Express explosives weigh ninety percent less. So yeah, because I'm carrying tons of missiles, or at least I will be, uh, tons of missiles, uh, 40 millimeter grenades, and cannonballs. That reduces the weight greatly. As you can see here, my weight is just 166 under 360. And that's because I picked up uh, a bunch of the loot that the Super Mutants here dropped. And then for Perception, 3 Perception, there's that Survival Syringe... Uh, again I have one rank of green thumb or the only rank of green thumb uh, just because I like I like uh, picking flowers I like making say healing salves or sugar this just doubles the amount that you pick from flowers and then rank two of gra uh, grenadier explosive explosives detonate with twice the radius so say you're doing an event uh, this just means more enemies are caught in the blast radius than there would not be if you didn't have that perk, which means more XP and more loot. Uh, endurance at three, so I have uh, fireproof maxed out at rank three. We take forty-five percent less damage from explosives and flame attacks, so this just keeps us alive longer. Uh, because we are using explosives, we are susceptible to a lot of explosive damage, and that negates about half of that. Forty-five percent is almost fifty percent. Uh, two Charisma, I have one rank of Inspirational. Uh, when I did start this build from level 1, I did have this maxed at rank 3. But uh, because leveling isn't really a priority for me right now, I kind of uh, reduced that to one rank. And I have Strange in Numbers. Positive mutation effects are 25% stronger if teammates are mutated too. Uh, right now I'm on a private world with only myself, me, myself, and I on a team. So once once I do rejoin a public server and rejoin a team, this will uh, take effect. I probably will swap this out for, uh, I believe, Tenderizer, it's called, uh, where enemies take 5% more damage. So it's basically kind of a, a poor man's bloody mess, just just more damage. But it, it only lasts for, I think, five seconds. But still, more damage is more damage. Uh, intelligence 15. We have one rank of power user. Fusion cores now last 30% longer. 
I was contemplating maxing this out to the third rank, but uh, I've I've got really no problems coming across fusion cores or maintaining the the charge of the fusion cores because I do have the uh, the fusion car f fusion core recharger that I bought from the pit recruitment bundle or that came with the pit recruitment bundle, uh, which is a, a good quality of life purchase to make if you have the disposable income. Uh, and yeah, there's there's plentiful uh, fusion cores around the world if you know where they are, if you know where to look. Uh, rank 3 stabilized. Power armor, heavy guns with excellent... Sorry, in power armor, heavy guns gain excellent accuracy and ignore 45% armor. Uh, so it's just better armor penetration. Uh, it's, it's got really good synergy with uh, a power armor build. Heavy guns and power armor. They kind of go well together. Which makes sense. It's, it's just a huge tank, basically. Uh, rank 5 of Demolition Expert. Your explosives do plus 60% damage. So yeah, because we're an explosive build, this just makes sense. More damage, right? And it lets us, lets us craft uh, higher ranks of grenades. I think we need rank 3 to craft Nuka grenades, which I use. Which are, I guess, uh, recognized as the standard. There's some glitch with the, with the uh, quantum grenades, apparently, which I'm... I don't know the details of, but um, it, it is said that the regular Nuka grenades are the best. And then rank 3 of batteries included. Energy weapon ammo weighs 90% less, so that includes the fusion cores. Uh, and that's pretty much all I, I use it for, uh, the fusion cores, because I don't really rely on on energy weapon uh, or energy, wep energy weapon ammo that much in this build. Although I do want to get the... Uh, the legendary flamer called the Holy Fire, eventually. And that uses uh, fuel, which is considered energy weapon ammo. Uh, one rank of scrapper. This just ensures that we uh, we get more components when we scrap weapons and armor, which I'm all about. I like, just as you saw earlier, I just like picking up all the loot and scrapping it. And this, uh, this ensures that we have a higher probability, a higher probability of getting mods when we scrap Weapons and armor. Gunsmith. Just one rank of gunsmith. Uh, when I am crafting weapons, I do uh, unequip demo expert. And I have another rank 5 of gunsmith. As you can see here. But for, for everyday exploring, I just keep one rank. And that's that's sufficient for me to keep my guns in uh, in working order. And then one rack of chemist. You get double the quantity when you craft chems. So say we're going to craft some stim packs. Instead of one, we get two. And that works really well with another perk I'm going to talk about in a little bit. Then in agility, we have four agility. We have three ranks of through hiker. Uh, food and drink weights are reduced by 90%. Uh, I, will, I might get rid of this at some point because I don't want to carry too much food and drink around, but it's good because I I have a lot of food and drink now, and that drastically reduces the weight of that. Uh, and one rank of adrenaline. Uh, gain plus 6%. Max plus 36% damage, I think it is, for 30 seconds per kill. So yeah, this is, this is uh, another just overall damage boosting perk. What I might do, actually, uh, I might bring that to rank 5, and then... Uh, swap out some other perks. So yeah, the, the, uh, kind of the point of this video is to show you that you can you can get a, a pretty powerful, decent build pretty early, uh, up to level seventy. And yeah, the game basically starts at level fifty, where you can start picking your build and the perks that go with it. Uh, but yeah, it's a good starting point. Uh, also, I forgot to mention in charisma. If and when Radiation Rumble uh, happens, everyone's favorite event, uh, what, I, what I could do is unequip, say, Inspirational or Tenderizer and equip Friendly Fire with the Holy Fire and keep those, uh, those scavengers alive. And then a luck, I have 14 luck, so I have three ranks of Bloody Mess, just a 15% damage boost across the board all the time which is a good time. 
rank three of one gun army heavy guns gain uh 12 percent stagger chance and 12 percent chance to cripple a limb so that's not bad that's just uh uh, just a uh, not really quality of life, but a combat perk, I guess that that really comes in handy if you're say fighting the Scorch Beast Queen, and you need to to cripple her wings to keep her on the ground. And if you're uh, you're overwhelmed by a horde of of ghouls, for example. Ricochet, uh, a favorite of mine, gain uh, what is that? Eighteen percent chance. To deflect back some of the enemy's range damage. Uh, yeah, they'll have to excuse me. I'm kind of reading this on a smaller monitor. Uh, this works really well with... Uh, uh, the vampire's legendary effect. That you can get on weapons. Because uh, when the bullets ricochet back, they heal you, apparently. Like when, when enemies... Uh, bullets ricochet off you, they heal you. Or so I fear. <laughs> uh, rank 2 with star genes starched genes you will never ever ever mutate from rads and right away will never cure mutations so yeah I do have mutations that I will show you this just ensures that you keep your mutations uh, if you use right away or, or walk through a, a decontamination arch or something like that and good with salt Food in your inventory will spoil 90% slower. So yeah, because I am carrying lots of, of uh, food, both raw and cooked, and plants that I plan to uh, to make into chems and such, uh, this will ensure that they stay fresh longer and don't spoil. Yes. So now I will go over my... Let's do mutations. Uh, I just bought some serums from a, a player vendor the other day. Uh, so I don't have... All the mutations that I want, but I have m most of them. I have the the essential ones. So I have carnivore, uh, eats meats but not veggies with no disease and two times the benefits. So we get two times the benefits from meat-based uh, dishes that we cook. Like, well, we don't cook these, but uh, the pepperoni rolls that give carry weight and uh, that, I think it's canned meat stew. The one that gives the uh, the XP bonus from what is that event? That event in uh, Morgantown. Uh, we have electric electrically charged chance to shock melee attackers. I haven't really seen that in effect, but it, it helps. I'm sure it helps to deal a bit of passive damage to melee attackers. Uh, Empath plus twenty five percent damage taken, minus twenty five percent team damage taken. Uh, so yeah, it's just uh, kind of helping the team out. We take a bit more damage, but our teammates take less damage, and I think that kind of... Uh, I don't know how that works with teammates, honestly, but uh, yeah, I hear it's a good one. Like, if everyone in the team uh, takes more damage or takes less damage, I don't know, but... Uh, marsupial... Intelligence minus four and jump height increased and carry weight plus 20. Yeah, because this isn't really... Uh, although we do have max int, I don't consider this like an, like an intelligence build. So it doesn't really matter if we have less intelligence. And what I mean by I don't consider this an intelligence build, I don't consider this a leveling build. Because I have my main uh, level 300 plus build for that. And that jump height and carry weight boost is always nice. And then we have Speed Demon, uh, Hunger Thirst, uh, plus 50% while moving, move speed, plus 20, and reload speed. So yeah, I guess our Hunger and Thirst meter grows a bit faster, so we have to eat more. Just call me Captain Eat More. Captain Gregory Eat More. And then uh, while moving, <laughs> we move faster, so we can get to that fast food faster, and we reload our weapons even faster. So yeah, there there probably are a few more mutations that I want to get, but I'm I'm happy with these now. Uh, my weapons. I have a boomstick, which is a legendary missile launcher, a unique legendary missile launcher. Uh, it's basically two shot, and we do twenty five percent damage while aiming and reduced weight. So two shot isn't literally. Uh, double damage 
uh, somehow it's it's glitched or they they changed it for Fallout 76. But two shot is is a lot more beneficial on uh, energy or not energy, sorry, explosive weapons than ballistic weapons in this game. Then I have cold shoulder, which I don't really use anymore. I just use this a lot when I was getting up to level fifty. I unlocked this from the Season 12 scoreboard, I believe. Uh, I don't really use that anymore, but I'd, I'd like to keep it on me. Just in case I want to sh uh, shake things up, change it up. We have Foundation's Vengeance, which is uh, a unique uh, minigun awarded from the Eviction Notice quest. So this is bloodied, uh, explosive, and uh, plus 250 damage resistance while reloading. Uh, this isn't really a bloodied build yet. But I like the explosive effect because this is an explosive build. So yeah, just another choice that I, I use, that I, I break out sometimes if I'm feeling uh, adventurous, if you will. Grand Finale. This is one of my favorites. This is what uh, what we saw uh, just now taking out the Super Mutants. You see why I like it. It's very uh, celebratory. It's very festive. So it's like a party every time you pull the trigger. <laughs> that's that's right. Is that a piece of meat? That is a piece of meat. Holy shit. That's funny. <laughs> uh, I think this weapon is awarded from the seismic activity quest. Uh, which is down here on the map by the Nuka World on tour. Uh, the giant ultrasite mole rat thingamajig that you kill. And this has a pretty high chance of being dropped from that. And uh, this is, uh, yeah, one of my favorites. And the cool thing now, uh, recent update to the game, enemies drop a lot more contextual ammo. So what that means is they drop the ammo for the gun type that you are using. And because it usually only takes uh, one cannonball, I think this thing takes cannonballs. Yeah, cannonballs. Say we, we use one to kill the enemy, but we get more back than we use. So let's let's see how we do. Let's see real quick how we do. do you get, see, there we got three cannonballs back. So it, it's basically... Uh, Someone there? Yeah, I'm here. Where are you, though? Oh, you're up there. Okay. Oh, that didn't take that second super mutant note? That's, uh, surprising. So you can see there, we are still taking damage, so we gotta... Uh, we gotta... Keep an eye on our health. But, it'll be okay. I must have picked that recently, too, because that was empty. So there we got how many cannonballs? Uh, 9, 15, 21, 27. Oh, sorry, I'm counting that wrong. Uh, 4, 5, 9, and 5, so that's 14. And we used what? 6? So that's a good profit right there. Almost level 71. And, okay, so I showed you my Foundation's Vengeance and... Uh, grand finale. I also have a mutants heavy auto grenade launcher. So we do more damage with every mutation that we have. Uh, replenish 15 action points with each kill and one perception. So, yeah, this is a weapon I want to keep re rolling for better legendary effects. Uh, ideally, two shot again and like faster reload or something. But yeah, ideally, two shot. So, I'm going to keep re rolling that. Uh, and I showed you the boomstick. Uh, this weapon here, the Vampire's 50 cal machine gun, I used uh, for the longest time until I got those weapons. And this is Vampire's, like I say. So yeah, every time we hit an enemy, it restores some health, which keeps us topped up. Uh, I do want to get eventually a Vampire's explosive uh, 50 cal. And uh, a Gatling gun would be nice too, like a 
like an anti-armor explosive Gatling gun or something. Uh, yeah, I think that covers all the weapons. I'm I'm unsure how to get this. I think I got that from one of the new like uh, cryptid events, like Beast of Burden or uh, Sound. Uh, what is that? S Safe and Sound, I think it's called. But I'm not 100 percent sure. That's from eviction notice. That's from uh, seismic activity. That's just a random uh, roll. And so was that the vampires. Okay, so now my armor. I have excavator armor, which is a very good starting uh, armor set that you can get from a quest down here. So yeah, if if you're down here for any number of quests, you'll probably come across the Garahan Mining Headquarters. And there's a little billboard, a little standee, I guess, with that quest uh, popping up. And I do recommend that you, uh, you finish that quest at level 45. Uh, so you can get the highest possible level of power armor. Uh, I don't have enough uh, legendary modules to make all of these legendary. Because I'm only level 70. But I'm working on it. Uh, the goal for all of these is to eventually get Overeater's legendary effect. Which is just a straight up uh, shield, basically. So we, we take less damage. So I, I bet that'll really help when it comes to explosive damage. Uh, so I have ex assassins on my right arm, so we take uh, less damage from humans. And I have bolstering on my left arm, and that is grants up to 35%, or not 35%, but just 35 energy resistance and damage resistance to lower your health. So that's kind of the opposite of my build, because this is a full health build. Uh, so yeah, uh, the sooner we get uh, overeaters on that, the better. And on my chest piece, I have regenerating, so that restores health. 0.5% uh, heal rate. Which, I guess, is better than nothing, right? And, just earlier today, I did buy the plans. I did buy uh, uh, calibrated shock plans for the excavator armor from a vendor in the White Spring Mall, which is right here. White Spring North. Uh, they were about 5,200 caps. Uh, but they do require, I think, v uh, Violet uh, Stable Flux. Or Stable Violet Flux. I think five per leg piece. I only have six, so I figured I'd wait until I get enough for both legs. But yeah, those increase our carry weight by, I think, 50 pounds each. So it'll be a an extra 100 pounds of carry weight uh, total, which, uh, which will help immensely... Uh, in my builds once we get those. So yeah, I, I need to get some Violet Flux ASAP. But yeah, I think that's my builds. Uh, my level 70 uh, easy explosives build slash heavy gunner build. Uh, it's it's not uh, min-maxed for damage or experience, but it is min-maxed for fun. And that's what we're all about here. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching. If you have any tips, uh, suggestions, uh, any any uh, any type of video that you would like to see me me record in the future, please let me know in the comments below. These are fun to make. These are fun to edit, and it's fun to play this game. So yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I will see you next time.